Hey y'all, y'all know what time it is. We behind the scenes. We about to go live. Just running the tab a late. So hold on, hold on. Y'all like? Uh, okay. That's all you get. That's all you get. Okay. Uh, help us out with the show. Camera's right. I'm sorry, son. You know all you gotta do is tell me sit my ass down. <laughs> you can do that. You yeah, can yeah, do yeah. it. <clears throat> Sit your ass down, Shakenya. We got a show to do. Okay. Yeah, ready? Yep, ready. What's this? What's this password here? Uh, you can't tap into the network. I used to. You shouldn't. I got the passcode. Now it's uh, not. Okay, Diva. I get that you got it from Glenn, but you shouldn't be tapping into it because we need it for what we're doing here. So tap into your hotspot on your phone, and that would work. Or call me since you want to be a diva. I got it. You about to bring a whole nother side? Cause I ain't God, man. I ain't nothing but who I am. See, you talked to Glenn? Oh, I called him already. We ain't even started yet. We ain't even started yet. Hold on, y'all. Y'all got the memo that we come on at 7. Is that what it is? Right. So, she can you talk to him? So, I'm late. Hey, who called him? Hey, how you doing, baby? Welcome to Motor City Radio. Yep. Oh, they hung up. Right <laughs> they like, okay. They ain't okay, want that. That says they ready. All right. Okay. So, we about to get started. No, he didn't come for me. I talked to Glenn. Yes, I sure oh, did. Okay. You talked to Glenn. Mm-hmm. That's nice. And that's when he gave me the password. That's real but nice. that's all right. No okay. fears, because I got my own. Hope your mic works tonight. Yeah, I just, <laughs> it doesn't matter. I'm a co-host. Be I'm nice to your engineer. <laughs> Treat them the kindly. They oh. have the control of everything. I oh, hope it works. Okay, let's get started. Uh, okay. Sammy, did you see my uh, coughing conversation the other day where I had the Godfather music playing? You had who? The Godfather theme music playing in the background. I had on a shirt and tie. Looking like a monster. Oh yeah, yeah, I did see that. Yeah, I did. I got a lot yeah, of Yeah, I did. Gangsta suit shit. I was like, oh, okay, dig you. Said, uh, get it. I dig you. Uh, where the fuck is this supposed to be going? Okay. Good evening, good evening, and welcome to Motor City Radio. You chilling with your girl, Sexy Shakenya, in the house. One more again, one more again, and this is what we do around this time, people. And you know, I can't do it by myself. I got my man, Sam, 44 man, in, <laughs> in the building from Detroit Rock, people. I don't people. like that, for uh, a dollar, and I don't even think my uh, goddamn uh, mic is on. So I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I'll buy that for a dollar. Uh, what's up, world? It's your man. It's the one and only Mr. Sam, 44 man from Detroit Raw Live. I'm just looking through some stuff that's going on. Mm -hmm. And how our New Year is about to go. I know. I don't know. Nikki Haley wants to be the president, but you don't know what caused the civil... Are you seriously... You don't know what caused the Civil War? Who don't know what caused the Civil War? What, 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 Nikki what Haley. What, she, what happened? Uh, it's all about America getting together. Mer Baby, mm -hmm. get your facts right when you talk about the Civil War. The Civil War was all the way about slavery. What are we talking about here? You didn't know that? And you want to be my president. Mm. Did something happen? Was, was it a question asked to her? Yeah. Been or they, 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 she said, I'm out the loop, guys. She, she I'm said, sorry. You got to excuse me. Well, you know, she me, don't do the... the, the I've been the, out the, here the, trying to survive. She doesn't do the technical stuff like I do in politics. But yeah, she 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 made a, a comment. Mm -hmm. She didn't know nothing about it. She, I mean, or were they saying that 
she was trying to avoid it because she don't want Donald Trump people and the mega people to be mad at her. So oh. therefore she went and So she trying to walk a thin yeah, yeah, line. Yeah, 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 yeah. Trying to be but, cautious but, of but it. But the thing is, you offended people. Yeah. You offended people. So yeah. now you didn't offend the people. Lauren Bobberick, reckless MAGA activist, has a final backfired. You know, what is up with these are the people that we about to vote for. Right. Next right. year. And you know what? what? what I'm gonna be honest with you. After? I'm gonna have to do some research on Girl, the candidates. You better do normally so. I do, you know, but when it comes to like the presidential, I just kind of go democratic, whoever running well, on that know, our side, know, and just you, hey, you but, know, you know, Maine, Maine mm -hmm. has disqualified Trump mm -hmm. for being on there. Uh, California declines. Michigan, what's wrong <laughs> with us, Michiganders? Didn't y'all hear the videotape? Didn't y'all hear the tape where he was telling them to get his votes out there? And then y'all turn around and, okay, well, Michigan still going to put him on the ballot. So Maine is mm -hmm. not. Uh, I'm tripping Colorado that he is, is still able Girl. to even run if he's on trial. Is this trial still going on? Yeah. I'm out the loop, people. I've been... Yeah. What? So he's on trial, he, yeah. he, and he's still able to run mm -hmm. to be the leader of our nation. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't understand that. I want so how do you think that that's going to work out when, if... And I'm going to be honest with you. Don't be surprised if this clown becomes the president. See, you know what? And I'm nervous about that. What other... <laughs> Like, how do they do that? How do they narrow it down? Hey, Brother Girl, Dion, as far as, like, isn't they it other people? the rules by the moment. And it, isn't it other people in our party, though, that's that's probably trying to get Biden out, maybe? Or no, is it just going to be between Biden and Trump? Their party is trying to get Biden out, but they just using the factor of uh, his age. He's too old. Yeah, and but who, who else on the on the Republican side running? Are, are they did they pick who they gonna have yet, or is still people that well, got the opportunity Nikki, to get Nikki in? Nikki said something messed up last couple of days, mm -hmm. and then um, uh, the stand is he tried to cover it up, mm -hmm. but you don't want black kids to know about history in your school districts in your state. Yeah. So, DeSantis, how you going to tell me about what? And I feel some kind of way about that, man. Them taking it out out the slavery book, out the books, you know, and the children not being educated so on I, it. I, I don't like that too much. So, now. Because that's our we're, history. We're that's part of vote. our history. You know that. We're supposed to vote next year mm -hmm. in about 11 months. What do you see? Wait, do we have any say-so about them taking it out the books? Do we have any say so? Is it a vote and in, in put in play or anything? He's a governor. No. He I'm said just saying, this is just, a law just of all rules. around. Because I don't believe it's just Florida that's trying to do it. Or is it that's trying to take, Texas, take it out? A lot of places, a few places. So I'm wondering, is that something that we vote to or vote no, for? No, or they just, they can, just can just do it? Just do it. Wow. Guys, give us a call. 248 429 7224. Today we're just kicking it. This is the last show of the new year, 2023. And give us a call a, and tell us what you're It's been a about year, people. It's been a year. What are you about to do? I don't Good know, year. but I want y'all to call in and promote your businesses. I do want you to do that. I'm going to let you do it for free tonight. So if you call, if you, you call us, 248-429-7224. I'm live on Facebook. If you drop your name on Facebook, your business name, if you drop your business name on Instagram, I will give you a shout out tonight for free. I, I do want to say with regard to that, um, being a part of the, um, you know, just the movement here at the Vent Radio Network. We're mm -hmm. growing, we're thriving, and mm -hmm. we're uh, mm -hmm. all, always expanding. And so I was in the area trying to talk to local businesses. Mm. And one of the ladies at a, a salon nearby, I'm not going to mention the name because if we're going to do some things coming in 2024. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She asked me about you coming to the shop okay, and actually doing a walkthrough and talking about the shop on your show. And I was like... You watched the show? And she was like, yeah, sexy. Wow. Sexy. And she didn't, she, she wow. didn't say she can. She just kept saying, sexy. She could come in here and then we could do this. Yes. And then she's only down the street. And I was like, we're not tapping into, like, we don't even realize how much local black business 
that is even at our grasp and yeah. they are watching yeah. they do pay attention I but they don't know do how that. to access you so i was like oh yeah we about to do this yeah so and, I, and like, you know what and i tried to do that like a couple years ago i was on living noise me and my daughters and we were just going i just went live for like maybe an hour mm -hmm. and we went in and out of every store every restaurant every establishment on living noise if the owners were there they got on live with me and answered questions or whatever i did a walkthrough through the zoo. and i said you know what i'm gonna start doing this a little more you know yes and then tragedy struck and all the boys stuff well, you know what i mean well, and put a heart on, on everything here, the, uh, but i, I would to love see, to do that i happened to see the hey, shop sis. and i thought that it was really beautiful so i went in there okay and she said oh you do the show with sexy mm -hmm. and i was like Sexy Shakira, and she was like, mm -hmm. "Sexy, yeah." And I said, "Oh, okay. So you you watch." And she yeah. was like, "Y'all, y'all down the street somewhere." And I said, "Oh, yes." Yeah. So you don't even know who is watching you, who's paying attention, you right? And we're that. not even tapping into these people. But they said they didn't know how to engage us, and so. One of the things I definitely want us to close with tonight is mm -hmm. how to contact you. Okay. How to make sure, like we say, contact us. Yeah. You know, we, yeah. we want to connect, but we never say how you actually do it. <laughs> so I definitely want them to know that. And, um, you know, everything that you have going on. And so in 2024, we're going to be doing some amazing things. And I yes. definitely want people to know that all of the Vent Radio talent is going to be a part of everything. Even those yes. that have not won an award yet, but mm -hmm. want to win an award. Have um, the opportunity. You know, they're gonna be, yes, we're going to create opportunities and you'll have those opportunities. You do the work. <laughs> That's the main thing Glenn talk about. Do the work. Yeah. Do the just, work. just do the work. Do the work, people. Do the work. That's do the, the work. message. Take take that for the message of the day. Just yes. do the work, like, people. 2024, do the work. You ain't got to complain. You ain't got to tell nobody what you're going through, what you've been through, what you mm -hmm. what. When you was 13 and, and none of that. You know what I'm saying? He know I'm he know I'm talking about him. Mm. <laughs> oh, were you, you know, looking for me to retort? Like <laughs> I'm not. Hey, look! I had seven awards sitting up here last night Disney. that I showed you. Seven okay. awards. I don't need an award. You don't need that. I man. showed you what my award. See, I needed it, Sam. Oh, okay, so and you know, my, okay, so let me, my let me I didn't have no award. If Sam I man, never I have, have another it. award in so, life let me get to prove that I am the let producer that I am and I have worked hard on uh -huh. what I do, mm -hmm. then I guess I don't deserve. So it. what I'm working on, you don't need it. That's what you're saying right now. I ain't said that. I oh, okay. I'm so, not, I'm yeah, not, let's, I'm not, um, I'm not pushing so or I'm not Sakinia complaining. and Sam 44 Man, or thank y'all so much for all that y'all did in 2023 yeah. and before with the Vent Radio Network. And I look so forward to growing with you guys. And I know Glenn, you know, definitely appreciates you yeah. um, and all that y'all have done. And I'm looking so forward to, you know, what we can do beyond here. You know, y'all have done some amazing shows, and I really kind of wanted to be prepared to do some review. Mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. y'all have had some amazing guests yes. on the Thursday, you know, shows and on the Friday shows, yeah. Detroit Raw, Detroit Raw Live, and Motor City Radio. Yes, we. Y'all have had some amazing guests that people are still calling me about, like the mm. one lady with the um, I think it was the business grants or mm -hmm. something that she was doing, mm -hmm. and people are calling like it's even churches like that are asking like how can um, she helped them with their, you know, ministries or their um, uh, uh, nonprofit organizations and all of that kind of stuff. Y'all have had rappers on. Sammy. Yes. You've had some. Uh, Umar Johnson and everything. Dr. Umar Johnson. Yeah. I've had well, Sammy, two live yes, crew. I've had everybody in the world. Umar, you did. Uh -huh. Yes. You've uh -huh. done some amazing interviews. You had. You know, and so last night, mm -hmm. Sandman had his granddaughter on, who is trying she got her squishies. intervention. Yeah, squishies. and so he got excited about that. Yeah, we can yeah. do something. What well, squishies? Was, squishies. She's, these these little the, uh, so uh, the loop, guys. things that she d makes, and they they feel with comfort. It's like you know, you know. I is it a stress reliever? Like a stress yeah, ball yeah, or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Is it for you know, kids, I, kids no, edition, or it's for anybody? anybody. Oh, yeah, okay. Anybody. I think but, her target should be kids. Is yeah, she, it is. She making them? Yeah. She making them or something? Yeah, she makes oh, them on okay. her own. I had them all on the show last night. Oh, wow. And what I want to do to help her modify them is, you know how you can 
put these little devices in. And that's where it, I'm gonna then, stop and, you, Sandman, because I don't want you to tell too much about her product. I know. You know but how birds be chirping. I, I, I'm just saying, yeah. we we got some ideas that we yes. working with, mm -hmm. and uh, yes. mm -hmm. I think it's gonna be real good for her. Well, dang, she that's what's up, day. my brother Dion Riggins in the house. He say this work only gets done by those that do the work. All exactly. right, exactly. Yes. Take that with y'all going you. into yes. the new year. And I want to give a shout out to Brother Dion as well because remember when I talked to you guys about the speaking engagement that I had? Mm -hmm. Brother Dion is the one that set, set all that up. Him uh -huh. and there's some gentlemen that are, I want to say the gentlemen are still incarcerated and they kind of worked together and, and, and came up with this, um, the concept of bringing victims and returning citizens together and have them on a platform. Okay. And talk about their experiences as far as the things for the returning citizens, the things that led them on this path that, you know, got them incarcerated. And then the victims of how their their lives had changed as a result of the turning point. Thank you, Brother Dion. I was trying to get to it. I was thinking of it. I was thinking of it. The turning point was the name of the event. So mm -hmm. he brought, I mean, and it was a nice event. Oh, my God. He brought the, the guys together. They were able to talk about their experiences. The two ladies were talking about their loss and what mm -hmm. happened. And then the ladies not only experienced the loss, but they were on the other side because they had children that were also incarcerated. So it was deep. I'm not even going to hold you up because when he first brought it to me, I was a little leery because I'm like, well, wait a minute. Now, how that's going to play out when you got the victims on one side and then you got the perpetrators here on the other? Like, right. is these the victims of the, the perpetrators that you got? He was like, no, no, no. It's, right. it's a right. difference. But it was still, hey, Hudson. Hey, Hudson, I got your uh, message on there. I definitely would love to do a video with you. Ballrooming, Latin, whatever, because you the man. So, whatever. We got to set that up, bro, because I was just thinking about something like that. Now, back to Brother Dion. Yeah, the event was wonderful. And the fact that I had the opportunity to moderate it, That's that was different. You know what I mean? Because I do want to do a lot more. Going into uh, 24, I want to do a lot more speaking engagements. I want to do a lot more hosting. Yeah. So, I'm, I'm working on that, guys. So, Mel Skippy said, hey, hey Mel. to y'all 2024. Yes. Hey, hey Mel. Let's do yes. It. So, yeah, I, I think you should definitely have him on. And I, I would really love for Bent Radio to push you in that um, yeah, area that. so that we can support you and them in that. And so that, because um, that, that's a necessary conversation. That's a necessary it is. experience. Yes. Me being some uh, someone that has gone through various experiences mm -hmm. and um, knowing people that have come out of incarceration and could not survive out here mm -hmm. and was like begging to get back in the wall. Oh my God. It's like, I, I didn't understand it. Like oh. I, I have an uncle who he, he can't survive out here. He yeah. just, because he probably to, had more respect on the inside he he than he does. had He's out a here. Whole, it's a whole different dynamic. He was the man in there. Yes, it's a whole different dynamic for yeah. him there. But when he got out here, it was like, uh, who doing what? what well, you know, y'all yeah. are talking about incarceration, which is, is, is valid. Mm -hmm. But are you aware of this laws that, you know, the United States government have a problem with this abortion situation, right? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Well, here's a woman in Ohio that's getting ready to be charged because she had a miscarriage in her bedroom, or her bathroom, I should say. Mm hmm Now she's charged with abuse of a corpse. Okay, so let me explain that. I looked into oh this. Oh, my and goodness. Because I, 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 I did say that yesterday. Yes. Yeah. But I want to say that Sherlock Holmes said, what's up, family? Hey, he said, Sherlock what up, what up, what up? He Hey, up, baby. He said, he didn't catch my name, which is Sonia. Um, and so, Sherlock, thank you so much for tuning in. Y'all give us y'all um, 2024 uh, resolutions if you want to, so we can shout y'all out and let that be known before we go into Monday. But listen, so Sandman, what had happened was mm -hmm. um, she went in and there's something called sepsis that mm -hmm. can set up in your system. It's like a bacteria that can start killing your system mm -hmm. and breaking you down. Mm -hmm. And it, it can be treated if caught early enough. Mm -hmm. And with this particular young lady, it was caught early enough. However, because of the abortion rules, the doctors were 
um, nervous and waiting to try to figure out what they could do with regard to taking care of her her fetus that had um, had died. But she, yeah, she but what they're saying here yeah, is... Yeah, let me tell you, she had a miscarriage. Yes. She had a miscarriage. Uh-huh. And so her, her fetus was, you know, already gone. Mm-hmm. And sepsis had set up in her systems. But because of all of the new laws, the doctors were not certain oh. what the procedure needed Cause to be. Because isn't it a DNC? Isn't, isn't that what it's okay. called? A DNC or yes. something? What they do and after so, that? And so she did not allow them to continue working on her. So she went home. Mm-hmm. And when she got home, mm-hmm. she ended up using the bathroom, mm-hmm. and the fetus came out as she used the bathroom. So now they're charging her with abusing, abusing a, corpse a corpse. But wait, when she was at the hospital, she dealt with the remains why of the didn't she allow them to be? Because to do they it. were uncertain how to treat her, and sepsis was building up. So she was getting sick and more sick. So she's like, if y'all not going to take care of me and treat me, wow. I'm going to take care of myself. Okay, now out. she made Thank that you, decision Eddie with this with this abortion situation. I ain't wearing Are we going to deal you. with more women doing these type of things, which... Now well, she you, didn't you, do you, nothing. You, you want to charge her because she had a saying, miscarriage? Yes, yeah, she didn't she's do being nothing. charged because she had a miscarriage. It's saying right here, abusive yes, of a because corpse. She had a miscarriage mm-hmm. and she allowed the fetus or the the remnants of the fetus mm-hmm. to go out in the toilet. So that's considered abuse of a corpse. And what was she supposed to do? I'm just asking. That's, what was the so, suggestion? I mean, that was going on before in the old days then people will not report miscarriages oh, and can end up my with God. sepsis in their system. Yes. And they can end up with conditions that they're not aware of. Oh, and they don't report goodness. because if I had a miscarriage and I can go to jail for having a miscarriage. Then, I ain't going to tell. I, yeah. Oh, I my have God. To but then you got to think of everything that's left in the so inside after the baby yes. comes. You can what die. they're saying yeah. is about anti-abortion activists are finding new ways to persecute women. Mm. I don't agree with this. You a woman, mm-hmm. if that's what you want to do, well, do she what you do. She had and, and, and now she's right. got to be under indictment because something that was not her control, why should she be jailed? Because she had a miscarriage, so I guess everybody that got a miscarriage Going to so jail? What, what do we? I wonder what do we have to do at this point now? Like, because I know we can't rewrite the laws, but is it a way to where we we have to create a new one to protect? Well, they did pass Are they the, trying they to overturn the it? They, yeah, they did overturn to try to say that in that type of situation, mm-hmm. if it can be explained and it is um, it is. Uh, a benefit to her life mm-hmm. and it you know what have you then it's a necessary circumstance basically mm-hmm, then mm-hmm. she wouldn't be charged but because of the circumstance when she left the hospital she went home she decided she wasn't gonna sit there and let them debate on her life whether she was gonna live whether she mm-hmm, was gonna die mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Da, 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 da. she took it into her own hands they're saying like that becomes abuse of a corpse. But so, doesn't that become a problem wow. if she was willing to do this because no one was willing to help her? Then don't you think that other women are gonna feel the same way that can't get abortions or even have a miscarriage and go somewhere I was gonna say, else? Yeah, she didn't have an abortion. She had a miscarriage. A miscarriage. Which is a, a so that difference. that's that says okay, lock her up because she had a miscarriage. See, and I, so are we going to start? And doing I got to educate women? myself a little bit more about how the system goes because I'm still stuck at the part you of. You pregnant? N- oh damn! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sarah! <laughs> oh, I can't stand if you, you Sarah. How when you have internal conditions, sepsis mm-hmm. can set up in your system. My mother, yeah. a part of. Um, her demise was sepsis set up in her system that we didn't know anything what about. Is that? Mm. What is that? Sepsis? sepsis. You can look it up. And, and so it is a level of bacteria that will build up in your system and it can start to break down like your kidneys, your lungs, and your whole system oh my God. if it's not treated. They can treat it, 
They can pull it out your system, but it has to be done in time. How does she contract? How does she contract? Contract it if you well, like if you have a condition, like if you have internal bleeding, or like with her being pregnant, with her having a miscarriage, mm -hmm. and the bacteria from the I'm child. talking about your mom. Like I don't oh, know like your my mom. mom. My mom had cancer. Okay. So like with the cancer, um, and then going through treatments, and sometimes things can set up in your system, and you just don't know that it was there. And so like with her. They caught the sepsis in time, but unfortunately with my mom, she ended up having platelet issues. Okay. And so it's a lot of things that can go on in your yeah. body with various conditions. And so if you, if your doctors are sitting there saying, well, the law said mm -hmm. we can't touch this thing mm -hmm. and we can't mm -hmm. touch that. You just sit there and die. And this particular lady in wow. Ohio said, I'm not about to do that. I'm going home and I'm going to figure something out. Yeah. I'm going to get some some uh whatever i need to get and she did that and but now she i don't has understand to go up how the legal how right. like i said I'm this going, is a woman i'm going this is back a woman to why did they even overturn that, that it because it was already set in stone with an whatever it was she had a miscarriage out of this pregnancy mm -hmm. and you're telling me and the world that we're on the quest that even if you don't listen to the doctors, which we were telling, no abortion. You can get charged. No, no, no. Now you're charged for having a miscarriage. Yeah. That's, it's Seriously? all backwards to me. It seems like we just How going long backwards. are you going to sit in prison because... Well, well, I had a, I, I was having a baby. We the undoing baby's stuff done. that's done. I already. can't do We're nothing. Back I'm suffering from this, it. but yet and still, I got to go to jail over it. Yeah. Sherlock sucks. Holmes said, "My New Year's resolution is to make more money, create new streams of income." Okay, get it, get it. I Sherlock, like that. Why, 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 why don't you give me a call, man? So <laughs> yeah. I, I want to know how these. <laughs> hey, extra Brandon. Income. I'm tired hey, Brandon, of hearing these people. In. That's on the internet talking about if you get with this program, you'll have this automated. This is the new thing now uh -huh. to get our money. You can just give us $67. This is a $120 value, but you can give us $67. You will plug in. What after scam, scam is that? Right? What, what, what scam plug, is that, Sammy? Plug, plug in. Give us your credit card number. And then we're going to stick you in this miraculous Hell computer nah. that's going to generate money for you 24 hours. Shakinya, what? Uh, you used to get $2,000 a day. Nah. You would have $2,000 a day. The, the biggest Girl. scam that I Hell do not nah. like right now is uh, that $6,400. Uh, oh. They, they, they yeah, got all the yeah, celebrities yeah. telling them. Every every American it qualifies for sixty four hundred dollars, but it's a medical thing. So in my mind, I'm thinking that's just a medical credit. Maybe you can use it to get prescriptions or something. I'm not thinking it's actual no, money. No, they say that it's they supposed make it to seem be like you get everything. actual money. Scandalous. Everything yeah. is supposed to be for everything. It gets you free health care. You're supposed to be able to get sixty four hundred dollars. Now, when I added it up, I'm looking about mm, seventy some thousand. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, if you say that this is a a uh, 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 help to give like a stimulus. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so are you saying that you're going to pay medical bills and you're going to give $6,400? Now, I did say on my show, mm -hmm. if that's y'all way to give reparations, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's okay. I could deal with Is it. Is it cash though? Is you, they, are you that's getting what cash? they say. That's what they say. Do you know anybody that got it? No, no. Oh, no I don't way. know nobody that has received it. But believe me, I do have some people on it, and I will let you know. Yeah, keep us but, posted, guys. Yeah. And y'all, I hate to bring the show down. Uh, I, yeah, I hate to bring, bring it down. But down. I've been watching the videos on Instagram about the war over there, Palestine. Yeah. It's one video in particular, well, one page that I've been sort of following called Free Palestine, I want to say. But the children, is so many oh, babies. To to Sam, man. What are you well, say? no, Sam, oh, I've been God. following. I've been following the war. My yeah. heart been going out to the it's people. And I hate that I don't know the reason why it's at this point to where we actually have a war going on over there to where innocent people 
people are being bombed he and killed. He said he's and going I to wish, demolish everything. I wish I can understand why they're doing what they're doing, and I wish that I can come up with some type of solution to help them just end it. Like, why are y'all doing I it? Why? I've only seen so many, so many babies. There's so many babies in and slavery. They're, they're going... Look, don't start equating <laughs> don't, uh, saying, the misery. Right. And the, and the, I don't say uh, it is bad all over. I understand that, but now don't start equating with what's going on. And I'm talking about one specific thing, and yeah. I'm talking about what's going on it's with the shame. war right now. Yes, and I'm is. seeing these dead children. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing more dead children than, than not. They just bombed a building yesterday, and they were pulling whole mm -hmm. families. Out. So I'm just wondering, what is the purpose of it? I wish I knew the purpose of why they're going to war. Why are they killing the innocent people? Why? And then there was a video of some man laughing about killing babies, and he was about to go kill another one. And I'm like, oh my god, I can't believe they put all this on our on our phone. I was gonna say, um, and social one media. One of the other things that we got to be mindful of is what they're feeding us in the media, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and it's a it's purposeful. Mm. There are some things that are untrue, mm -hmm. and so you gotta be. What well, these was babies, and I saw them, and they were lifeless, and the families were carrying them you out, saw and they were on video, and they were crying. You the families. On, let me let me just keep helping you. Okay, you okay. Saw them yeah, on media. Yeah. Be mindful. We're being fed what they want to feed us. True. The truth can be something totally different. True. And so we have to be mindful that we have to pay attention to every single detail. Because you there will be opportunities. Passion. There will be opportunities for whenever you do want to um, be a blessing to you know families or whatever. Mm -hmm, Just mm -hmm. be mindful. What you're being fed is not always the necessary truth. Well, what I'm being fed is the fact that we got a war over there, Sonya, and I don't know why we are at war. And that's all and you know. That's, that's all, all and you, I, know. you know what I'm saying? And I don't know if it's why we're, are we supposed to do something to help? And then I'm wondering, do we have a place over there too? Is it even our business? But I'm looking at, no, they have, not. but it is because they have family here. And I'm starting to see a lot of protest. I'm starting to see a lot of people that's upset about what's going on over there. Now, how is that going to affect us here? And you know what I'm saying? Like, I, it's a repercussion to, to everything, you know? So yeah, I'm wondering, I, how is that going to, yeah. Trickle it's, it's, down here, you know. It's 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 a lot going on. That's why I I've been um, maneuvering in in my life to mm -hmm. pay attention to the things they don't want us to pay attention to. Mm -hmm, so even mm -hmm. in studying finance now and just looking at how there's a lot of cons and scams yep, and yep, different yep. things that are going on, it's causing me to pay attention. I want you to look at the Stoic mm. Resolution. It's S T O I C. Mm -hmm. Resolution. Mm -hmm. um, and what is that? The Stoic Resolution teaches you about it's it's um it's multiple um it's multiple prolific people. Okay. That are giving information on how to see beyond what they show you. Mm. Not only seeing beyond what they show you, how to. It's so, like, I can't even tell you. It's, it's dealing with narcissism. They mm. talk about dealing with um, fake friends. Mm. They talk about, it's multiple philosophers. That's what it is. Multiple kind philosophers. Kind of sound like me a little bit. Oh, God. So <laughs> it's just different people giving their perspective on it's different multiple things? multiple philosophers okay. that give you life lessons mm. on seeing things from just outside of the general. Okay. Outside of what what is being played to you, placated to you, okay, from the general and telling you to go see beyond that just a little bit, okay, and then okay. tap into yourself a little more and see how whatever your purpose or whatever your design is can mm. bring to whatever this situation is. So, like you were saying, you felt sad for the children or what have you. Mm -hmm. That's fine, and that's where your heart is. Mm -hmm. So maybe there's a place here, right in Michigan that you can pour into some of those families. True. But nobody's going to tell you that. Nobody's going to show you that. True. But you got to figure out how do you tap into that and why does that connect to you? Mm. And so the stoic um, resolution, man, I've been sitting up with that. Wow. And it has been showing me some different like perspectives on a mm. lot of things. So 2024, Wow. 
I'm telling you. I'm going to have to get on that because I'm one of those people who try to stay aware or, or, or I don't even know how to put it, but I try, I try to try to get knowledge about everything that's going on, you know, so yes. that I'm not lost in the sauce when stuff do happen. Mm -hmm. These robots that they're creating, I'm feeling some kind of way about that. It is crazy that you said that. I'm feeling Sherlock some kind of way about that. Sherlock just said, the age of AI is very easy to be fooled and misled. Yeah. The confusion is a tool of war as well. Yes. Oh, my God. And Sherlock, I just want to give you a shout out because you yes. showed me oh, so year. much love, yes. man. Yes. And I appreciate I appreciate that. I appreciate you because what I'm doing out here, I, it don't go, ain't nobody talking about it. You know what right. I mean? Mm -hmm. Everything that I'm doing, the, the, from Coffee and Conversation to this radio show, why I don't know they talking about the radio show. Now, Coffee and Conversation, I can understand because a lot of people not dealing with the issues that I talk about. And mm -hmm. I'm going to be honest with you. The co-parenting thing, a lot of people have found a rapport. Okay. A lot of people get along. They making it work whether they like each other or not. They putting the kids first. I'll say 75% of the people are doing that. So the little 25 that I deal with on Coffee and Conversation, that's not a lot. It's don't all, say little. I don't be tripping, you know, don't but that's, that's not a lot. But everybody not dealing with that. But when it comes to Motor City Radio, though, the fact that I promote black-owned businesses, the fact that I promote black or date, period, should be a reason for people to want to... Listen, like I told you, you, you know, know what I'm saying? Push it a little bit. Want to come on, you know? I, I did an event um, <coughs> probably about three years ago, mm -hmm. and we were we we projected that it was going to be a hundred people there, mm -hmm. and there was about seventy five people that said for sure we're coming. Mm -hmm. About fifty five people paid to be there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Shagania, do you want to know how many people showed up? How many people showed Eight. up? Oh. Eight people showed up. Now, 55 people paid. Yeah. I had food for 100. Mm. Eight people showed up. Oh. So, when I tell you I gave it to them eight people. Yeah. Yeah. Even now. Wow. Those eight people have told eight people who told eight people. Yeah. Who told eight people. Yeah. Like, get her book. Yeah. Or support her, or do this when wow. she do an event. When she do a play, oh, you know it's gonna be a good play. When she come out with something, it's gonna be something. So don't minimize two people looking well, at you that's, or one person. That's looking good at you. that you had eight people, Sonny, because I've had events and nobody showed. Listen, nobody, I've, I've had events. nobody not showed. Nobody I'm not showed, gonna hold you up. Nobody showed. Nobody. Nobody I, I showed. I never had an event where nobody showed, but I nobody. had, I had events. Like I said, it was showed. that eight. And when I went out there and saw that eight, mm -hmm. I gave it like they was that hundred that yeah. I was I was looking for. Yeah, and. I had an event where I told the people, 300 people going to show up in this place. They said, our capacity is only 250. I said, but 300 going to show up here tonight. Okay. And okay. they was like, but we can't hold 300, Sonia. We can only hold 250. 250. Right. When I tell you, 375 people showed up. And they said, uh, so what are we supposed oh, to do with these extra people? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, you're going to just let them in. Right. Because I said, they going to show up. But it started with them eight People, people yeah. who said, tell somebody to tell somebody to tell somebody to yeah. tell somebody. Yeah. Because she gave it to eight. Yeah. And if you can give it to just one and that's your purpose, yeah. do it. Don't worry about and that's, whether mama, that's auntie, what I cousin. Do. That's what Don't I do. do it. Because coffee and conversation, like I say, it's just now getting traction. Like, yeah. I'm literally looking at the video from yesterday when I came in on the Godfather thing. So, <laughs> that... Took me out the it took me out the gate and I did it. That that's almost at three hundred views, you know, okay. and that's a lot of views for me on the coffee and conversation, guys. I know y'all feel like I should have thousands of people that pop on as soon as I go live. Not the case yet, yet, you know. But yeah, so that's a lot. So I'm 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 loving it. I'm loving the traction. I'm loving people. But like I say, coffee and conversation don't cater to everybody, but Motor City Radio should cater to all of us. And the fact that that doesn't get pushed a lot, I'm I'm hoping that. Coming into the new year, something happened, you know, for me to for me to advance or get more viewership or get more people to come on. I want to get to a point where I got like two or three months booked of guests to where you can just go on the website and see. So I'm I'm working on that, guys. So going into the new year, I'm putting a lot of 
energy into what I got. Because what I got is what I got. This is all I got. You know what I mean? I'm not going back to work for nobody. I don't want to clock in no more. So all I got is the skills that I have. That I, you know, that I know. work one day. Well, I can't even say a day. I was there an hour. And you left. And I started crying. I I know. Oh, my God. I can't. It's like, you don't get a break till 1235. I said, I can't. I can't. Oh, I can't. I quit. I just, I just. And, and trust me, I don't have nothing. I, I, I pretty much promote nine to five. I promote because right. I tell everybody, even if you want to be an entrepreneur, sometimes you got to use that nine to five mm. to even get to that point. Oh, God, yes. But I've done it all my life since I was 15. I kept a job. So for the last four years, I, I pretty much said that if I don't make it, Mm -hmm. Give myself three or four years. If I don't make it, then I'm gonna go back and get me a job. I'm gonna yeah. use this little bachelor's degree, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use it to the fullest. But yeah. if I can make it and survive out here, and trust me, y'all, it's been a grind. Y'all been watching me on Coffee and Conversation and watching me and following me these last four years. It's been a grind, baby. It's been a struggle in certain areas. You know, mm -hmm. it's been trying in certain areas, but for the most part. I'm still out here, and I'm making it, and I'm okay. Well, I, I believe so, we're, we're here. We're proud of you. Sam, man, aren't we proud of her? I'm not going back. She, I ain't going cause, back. Because she be in the morning looking like, I be like, wait a minute, hold on. Is that, is that the same person that's about to show up at uh, 7 o'clock? Yeah, I know. I saw her today. She was painting a green wall. Yep, and it's funny. And, I'm getting my nails did, and I'm showing her. They, they Vietnamese, I think. I don't know, but they love me, and I love them too, girl. They, they shut the shop down for me, okay? They, they think I'm famous. They Aww. think I'm famous, you know? So it's funny because she doing my nails, and damn, I done lost my train of thought. When no, I so, these, yeah, this morning, because you was... Yeah, so I showed the her the video yeah. of how I look mm -hmm. on the radio show, because I'm like, can you hurry up? Because I got to get home, and I got to do a RuPaul Drag Race, because uh -huh. this is what I got to look like at 7 o'clock. She look. <laughs> That's not you. That's not you. I said it's me. Man. She, hey, then I showed her it another. Was five o'clock. She said no. Said, That's not you. That's so not you. Is still at this shop painting. <laughs> and I said we gotta go on at seven o'clock. I said, oh lord. I, she ain't gonna make it. And then she didn't came up in here in her little dress. <laughs> now you see up. why I be rushing and I yeah. be running. Yeah. I, I swear y'all, I don't be faking. I don't be faking the front. That's just how my days be going. I'm jumping from one thing to the next, to the next, to the next. I don't even think I ate today. Okay. I yeah, literally, I I, yeah, Sherlock I don't even think I ate today. Nine to five is the first business partner. That's, a that's right. Look. That's yeah, right, that's Sherlock. Good. And I still that's didn't finish giving him his flowers. But thank you so much, Sherlock, for supporting me because yes. that means a lot to me. I know some people, my girlfriend told me yesterday, told me some, um, because I was talking about, I don't really talk about support all the time, but it do come mm -hmm. up in general com in, in conversation mm -hmm. because I think that it's needed. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And the fact that I asked for it. So she made a comment and she was like, you know, well, some people don't probably don't think you need it. They probably think that mm -hmm. you're already, they look at you as being on a level to where you're already there and you don't need the support. You know what I mean? And that like, is not true. That's what I said, Sam. I, to... I got my business no, together personally. Help me right. out a little yeah. bit here on yeah, this. I, because my thing is, and I and I understood it, though. Yeah. That's one thing when she told it and she said it, I understood where she was coming from and why she said what she said. But in the back of my mind, I'm like, no. Because if I'm asking you for it, just like on Coffee and Conversation every morning, I ask you every morning, Please go to my YouTube channel and hit subscribe. Please share one of the videos if you happen to like one of them, some of them, whatever. But, but Please share. Here, here, Please. Here's the thing that I've learned in watching and being a part of PR and marketing and all that stuff. Don't ask for it. If I want it, I'm going to come for you. Mm. That's like if I see, if I'm a man and I see you walking down the street and mm. I want to approach you, you ain't got to come over and be like, sir, please get my phone. Number. How you doing? It's, it's just like Here you are. Ask for my name. Take then, me. You ain't got to <laughs> you you ain't gotta do all that. If I want you, uh, I'm coming for hey, you. Hey, Rick, if y'all want to learn anything about uh, guns. Holla at my boy, oh, Rick Ector. He is the man. He'll teach you everything that you need to know about guns, guys. Wait a minute. Hold on. Don't fold that book because that's a nice looking you book. You see it? You uh -huh. see it? Oh, you, uh -huh. you see it? I'm yes, going into the new year with a new book, guys. I'll be damned. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm about to have a heart attack. It is stroke at the same damn time. <laughs> did she just revitalize and modernize the no, damn book? No, I didn't. 
But yeah. I said, I'm going to put the raggedy oh, book up. Oh, my yeah. God. I'm having problems. I'm transforming. I'm evolving. <laughs> and it's time for a new do. So, I'm, I'm good, guys. I, You know what, y'all? I think I'm going to read. I'm going to read some of the stories. Oh, family. Right? We're going to have a little story time. We only got a few Hallelujah. minutes left. Okay, well, at least she ain't talking about when she was 13. Yeah, yeah. well, she, you might as well say it. I'm going to read the back first, guys. Dysfunctional Family Not. Make sure you get you a copy, guys. Go to lulupublishing.com and get you a copy. And you can go to Amazon. And going into the new year, y'all, I'm going to do an audible, audible book. I'm okay. going to work on that. I talked to Glenn about um, getting some space here. And, Eddie, I'm going to let you know when my next event is. He said he'll come support the next event because I said ain't nobody come. So, Thank yeah. You, Eddie. So, yeah. So, Glenn, you know, I, I talked to Glenn. So, I'm going to reserve some time in the studio. Uh -huh. I'm frozen. Um, You're there. Yeah, I'm there. They, they okay. It's good. Yeah. So, yeah. I'm, so, I'm going to... Um, Reserve some time in the studio so that I can do the audio. And then I'm going to get on. I want to get on Kindle this year with the book. Mm -hmm. And I want to get on some different platforms other than Lulu Publishing and Amazon, guys. And I know I should have been did it. Because this book been published and been out since. We ended up in 2009, guys. My book been out since 2009. So if you haven't gotten a copy and you know me, shame on you. Shame on you. That's all I can say is shame on you. So, y'all, I'm going to read a little bit. Let me read the back of the book. I've I never read the back of the book. Detroit, a city like no other. It's people distinct and experiences unique. One thing similar, crack cocaine. No, not the manufacturing of it. No, not the addiction of it. And no, not the profit of it. Many have written about the awesome power of cocaine and how it swept into a land, overtook our country, and ultimately our streets. Little, however, have been written about the end results. Crack babies and children raised by parents addicted to crack. Secondhand smoke, well documented. Secondhand crack smoke, never even investigated. Detroit, the murder city, number one in every criminal statistic. Who do we blame? The youth. Who should we blame? This is a story about one experience, but one shared by many. A child growing up in a broken home, a grandmother there to save the day, and a mother addicted to crack. Many will relive their own lives as they turn the pages of this book. Many will find solace that you are not alone, that your experiences are not so uncommon, that your nightmare is not so unique. So why read the story? Because it's more ways than one. It's your story in more ways than one. So y'all, that's my book. So y'all, make sure y'all get a copy. I think I'm going to read a little something, something for you. Just a little something, something for you, y'all. I'm going to start at the very beginning when I actually decided to write the book. Literally, I wrote around with a journal, people telling me, you need to write a book, you need to write a book. I never thought that my life was interesting enough. Hey, Greg, good afternoon, baby. To write a book, like nothing that I've been through, I don't feel was any different than anybody that I knew, anybody that I grew up with. So to write a book, my life not, not that interesting, you know. But when I thought about it and all the things that they told me to write about and the reasons why they said I, said I should write one, I think my life is interesting enough for you to... um read it and cop a copy find something out of it to help you maybe maybe it's therapeutic for you because it was therapeutic for me writing it so i don't know guys but chapter one the early years it starts july 10th 2006 and this is the first day that i actually started writing i rode around my neighborhood and i sat in front of jackson middle school that's where i went to middle school at and i sat there and i started writing in my journal and that's that so July 10, 2006, it's funny how some things never change. As I drive around my old neighborhood, I still see many of the people I grew up with walking to and from. As I drive down Cope, it's nothing like it was when I was a kid. Back then, the streets would be packed with kids. I guess now that we're living in this tech technology world, the kids are just not interested in running around outside like we did. As I get to the corner and turn up Forest, I see this dude named Jerry that I grew up with. Back in the day, him and his brothers were well known for getting that paper. He was the youngest of a, <laughs> a fine line of hustlers. He and his brothers were no joke. After they got busted though, things have never been the same for them. Things were not going too bad though because he was still driving a late 90s Lexus. For somebody that has been in and out of prison, I consider that pretty good. I seen people come, come out and do a lot worse. Since they've been out They've been somewhat on the straight and narrow. When he spots me, he waves back and asks about my childhood friend, Dai. 
She was my dog. I tell him she's in the joint. That she caught a case and is doing two to eight years in prison. He then goes on to say, and let me stop there, guys, before I go any further. I don't know if y'all remember the incident back in the day where the, the mother had stabbed the girl at King High School. But during that time, that was my best friend at the time. And she was actually doing time for that particular crime right now. Of course, she got out early. Y'all know the whole story. But at the time, she went up to the school to help her daughter. Just so happened, the girls jumped on her ass, too. She was defending herself, and that's what happened. So if y'all followed the news back then, that was her. So he goes on to say that he's doing good, that he's now married and has children. I tell him that I'm married also and have three children. The oldest is Chavez, who I had as a teenager, is now 15. I still have family in the hood. My Aunt Mona still lives in the house that I grew up in. It's my, it was my grandmother's house. When I was a kid, everybody and their mama lived there. At times... At times, there will be almost 10 people at a time living there. It's nowhere near that now. My aunt don't play that. People just popping up and moving in like grandma did. As I continue driving, I see my brother, Arkayo, and he asks for a ride back to the west side, and I tell him no. He's living with me, but he really needs to get his shit together. I tell him whatever way he got to the east side, that's the way he needs to get back. I then continue on. After a, after a minute or so, I reach Newport, then I turn down Marlboro, the street where my old middle school is located. I couldn't help but stop in front of the school as memories of my past began to cross my mind, like an old movie from the past. Back in the day, this school was called Jackson Middle. The sign now reads McNear. The school has also has also been upgraded. It looks nothing like it did when I went there some 15 years ago. Some of my best years of my life were spent at Jackson. Those were the days. Back then, I was known as She-Rock, the female beatboxer, and I was good. I could, not, I could out-rap and out-beatbox anybody in the school. It didn't matter who you were. I didn't really have a crew, but you would think that I did because everybody between classes in the hallway or during lunch, me and a few fellas would huddle up and cause a scene. It would mainly be me and my boy, Kurt. Sometimes this boy named Anthony would join in. The battles would be the greatest. Either someone would want to challenge me or wanted to challenge Kurt. But you best believe whoever was rapping, they chose me to do the beat. So, yes, if you didn't know, I used to beatbox back in the day. Everybody know me, call me She Rock. And then at the dancery, if y'all familiar... Let me hear a goddamn beatbox right now. You know what? Say the same thing. Like, give us something. Like, yeah. I'm a practice. I wasn't even a beatbox. I'm a practice. Let me hear what the hell you I'm a bring in the new year, y'all. That people are talking shit. Let me hear. Let me... Right. Let me hear. What you got to no, she said not no rapper. She said she was. Yes, all that. All that. And I used to jit. And I used to jit, y'all. So the dancery used to be lit. And I tell y'all, I talk about all that in this book. I talk about the dancery. I talk about skateland. I talk about I talk about everything, guys. I talk about Timbo's. I talk about the Jew joint. If you're familiar on the east side, you know about the Jew Jew. So y'all, yeah. Okay, so can we get a beatbox? Like what? No! Can we go out and beat? No! I did not practice. I did not Pop, pop, pop. Right, yeah. <laughs> Come on, yeah. let me hear that Come shit. On. I can't stand them guys. <laughs> I ain't even heard. I ain't uh, even heard beatbox. Rick said, let me hear you beatbox. Yes. I promise y'all, next show. Next, oh, next I'm going to bring in the new year not, with a beatbox. Now you giving her time to exactly. fucking practice. Yeah. I'm going to practice. Now, y'all, look. Now, I ain't going to let this night go bad without mentioning my GoFundMe. I got to mention. Why you got crickets going? <laughs> oh, my bad. My bad. <laughs> right. Boring. <laughs> <laughs> I got that GoFundMe going, guys, and I'm disappointed. I'm very disappointed, and I don't know how to take it. I, think I don't know fault, how though. to take it. I think it's your fault. You think it's my fault? Yes. Oh, my when I God. I look for it. You said look up Shakenya, and when I went to look up Shakenya, something else had came up, and it was like it was like four other options. Okay. And so I had to figure out who you were, and unfortunately, I didn't have no money on my, enough money on my card that I wanted to give you. 
from the Vent Radio Network. So I'm going to go back to it. But so how did you find me? What should I tell people to do? Let's see. Go to back find through me. it and, and see what could be. Because see, I just post the link, guys. So I'm going to make sure I post the link here on my live and on Instagram. But so I've been posting the link. send the link to me and okay. then I will link it on to your show. Okay. So that way we can have it on this show. Okay. Because, yeah, when I went to it, it was another Shaquille. I was like, oh, no, hell, hell no. Yeah, hell, see, I don't, I don't all I know is that the name of the program is You Build. And it's a program to teach our children the fundamentals of tools, guys. Okay, so how do so what should they look up? They I don't know. I just know go find me because I've been just sharing the link. So I don't know if it's a a, a but the word. name of it should be in the link. And that's what I would hope it would be. But it's you build, and I I spelt it you the letter U okay. B I L D. So guys, please. I mean, I'm I'm feeling some kind of way because yeah, I don't yeah, know yeah, if y'all yeah, don't yeah, care yeah. about I, y'all don't care about the kids or is no. it that y'all don't but like I care me? About this, I I'm, think I'm, we I'm, just, they I'm, just got to make sure they have the right link because I looked up. I didn't look up from the link. I looked okay. up to Kenya. Okay. And so I got like four different options. Well, I'm gonna have so, to specify that, yeah. guys, because I just been sharing the link. But y'all got to understand. Hey, Dwayne, how you doing, baby? I know that y'all you. Y'all got to understand that this is a very important program. Program. That's all I can say. Yeah, it's a very yeah, important program. Really and it's a much needed program, whether you know it or not. I believe in preparing our children for the future. And a lot of people say that, but I don't think they actually do it. You got to look at what you think the future consists of. And then I feel like you need to give your children the tools to help them navigate. And learning how to use tools, learning woodwork, little plumbing, little electrical. You might not think it's important, but that shit is important when it comes to yeah. living out here on your own and getting old, being older an adult homeowner working on your house and things like that. Little things, you would be surprised. Just the little skills that I've learned in wood shop in middle school mm -hmm. help me to kind of navigate what I'm doing now to where since COVID, I've been supporting myself and my family just off of those skills. Right. Painting, drywall, flooring. I didn't learn all that. Word, but just the basics is mm -hmm. what, you know, and I feel like since they took it out of schools, this program is going to open up that door for a lot of children that feel like, you know, oh, well, shoot, I never even thought about that as being a, a profession or a career or I can get into construction. I might want to be a plumber. I might want to be an electrician. So I feel that this eight-week program will kind of pique their interest, kind of give them well, a, you I, know, I opportunity. Definitely, I definitely and I need y'all to give me some money, damn it, so I can make it happen. So please donate to the GoFundMe, guys. Damn, $5. That's all I ask. I know enough people to wear $5 from each person that I just know. Not saying the people that I help. Not saying the people that I don't look out for. Not saying the people that I don't donate it to. Not saying the people that I promote. But just the people that I know. $5 from each of y'all should put us damn near 75% to wear the goal that I'm looking for, Listen, guys. Don't even worry about people that because there are that. people that are actually pouring more into these type of programs. There's actually grant money being avail been made available mm -hmm, in mm -hmm. 2024 for those type of programs and companies offering those services. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. don't don't worry about who's not supporting. Because I'm going to do it. Whatever. I'm going to do it anyway, yeah, Sonya. Yeah, I might have to charge the parents $20 a class, but I'm going to do the program to. anyway. And I'm finalizing my 501c3 so, listen, so that I'm eligible for those grants. And everything that God has placed on your heart is going to be blessed. Yes. And it's going to manifest. Yes. And it's going to be empowering to those who it is designated for and purchased yes. for. Yes, yes, and you're gonna, yes. And it's going to be amazing. And Sandman, you're going to do some amazing things in 2024. Sandman been quiet as hell, man. I'm scared. Is you okay? I'm, I'm just Should I take your my, temperature? My is you all right? Yeah, you know, I'm here okay. trying to act like he doing taxes or doing right. something. Yeah, I, 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 I got, I got, I, I, last night was a big show. Yeah. <laughs> Never all right. Well, y'all. Yeah, we, we just believe y'all going to do some amazing things. And we we appreciate you being well, here. Well, thank you for your encouragement. I want to get a a media badge or pass or something. They're on the way. Yes, okay. They okay. Are. All have right. Pictures and they're on there. And Sam, man, I spelled your name right. Thank this you. Time. Okay. I really appreciate okay. It,